you're still doing this thing, Sally Sue, stop it. Dead that trend, okay? <laughs> people welcome back to my channel if this is the first time you're seeing this pretty face my name is Okoyemi please click on the subscribe button join the family we would love to have you here and if you are a returning subscriber thank you thank you thank you so much for coming back guys in today's video as you can already tell from the title we are going to be talking about 10 things that chip in your appearance <laughs> I have always tried to avoid topics like this because I feel like these topics are always, always controversial. But this is 2023. We either do better or we do better. There is no in between. Okay. I think one thing I have also recently learned is that not everybody is my audience, and I won't be communicating to everybody. So the ones that are mine. They are going to pick the things that are useful in this video and apply it. And the ones that do not agree with me, it's fine. Life is easy. Do you? Boo? When I'm talking about things that chipping your appearance, it definitely has nothing to do with money. First, erase that from your mind. I've seen people who have expensive stuffs and their look is still not classy. And I've seen people who, you know, have cheaper stuffs and their look is put together. It's classy. Expensive does not make it classy. And the fact that it is cheap does not make it classless. With that, being said let's get right into the video the very first thing i have on my list of things that chip in your appearance it is wearing hair bonnets outside why 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 are you wearing bonnets outside of your house why are you doing this i think this trend should have actually died a very long time ago i don't know why we are still doing it i don't know because hair bonnets are made for you to you know sleep with inside of your house so why are you wearing it outside? It's not nice, it's not cute. And then you see a bunch of women just wearing hair bonnets out as if it's some really nice and fancy thing to do. It is not. Look at me, using the high bonnet method, high bottle, to high bottle. The most annoying one is the fact that some women do not take their own further. They will not wear that wig cap. You know that wig cap that comes in black and cream? Some women will still wear that in outside. Why? Like this thing should not see outside of the four walls of your house. So if you're still doing this thing, Sally Sue, stop it. Dead that trend, okay? Two thousand years later. Alright guys, my next point on things that chip in your appearance is wearing overly revealing dresses. Sis, we get it. You know, you want to go out showing us all the sexiness. You want to flaunt your beauty. You want to show us that fine skin. We get it. We're here for it. We love it. But the minute you're overly doing it, then it becomes tacky and classless. So if you want to, you know, wear revealing dresses, you have to do it with class. You have to do it elegantly. Say you're wearing a clothes that is already revealing your back then it will be much more better that that clothes is not revealing legs, it's not revealing boobs. But if you're showing us legs, then you're wearing something that is more covered at the upper part. But the minute you're showing us back, you're showing us boobs, you're showing us legs, you're showing us stomach, it comes off tacky, you know, classless and not elegant. So sis, wearing overly revealing dresses is just doing too much. Moving on to my next point on things that chip in your appearance. Tacky frontal. Sis! Sis! If you cannot go to a hairstylist that can install that frontal for you very well and you cannot do it yourself, lose that frontal. Lose it completely. I swear to God, closure looks good on you. If you go for braids, it's going to look good on you. Let's say you are even tired of air, go for a low cut like me. It's going to look good on you. But you see that tacky frontal installation is a ghetto. Nah, that's a ghetto. It makes you look like Suliakon, Ayeto Rokon. It is bad. You know that you can't go to someone who can install your frontal for you or you cannot do it yourself. Lose that frontal. Personally, I have one frontal that I've only installed once by my hairstylist and I don't know how to do it myself. So I'm definitely going to install that frontal. Closure, closure hair like this one is fine. Great, it's fine. It's going to look nice on you. Lose that frontal. Especially those ones that you now do nonsense baby hair that's already reaching your brows. It's a ghetto, okay? Lose it, lose it. In 2023, lose it. Moving on to my next point on things that chip in your appearance. Long nails. Long nails. Because why is your nails looking like what I don't know? These nails are too long. You can't tell me that it is very comfortable for you. How? How is it comfortable that you cannot properly do things with your hand? 
how is it comfortable that you are even getting to enjoy yourself just because you have long nails sis it's giving tacky it's giving classless go for the ones that are like shorter finer more put together elegant and then the stylish you can literally take it anywhere tell me how do you even want to eat amala with these long nails look at it now you cannot eat amala you cannot properly eat you are suffering yourself because you have extremely long nails on it is tacky my next point on things that cheapen your appearance is not dressing for your body type see we are in that time and age where we constantly misuse the word body positivity but what i realized is that so many people don't even love their body because if you love your body why are you not dress for your body type you go oh i can wear what i like i can wear what suits me my darling your body your choice but if you actually love your body then you will be dressing for your body type because why are you wearing a clothes that is not your size why are you wearing a clothes that does not fit your body type why are you wearing a clothes that you know makes you feel uncomfortable if you actually love your body you will dress to suit your body type that is what body positivity really is know your body type know your size try to get clothes within your size don't don't buy clothes that are smaller because when you're wearing clothes you're bending down the jeans the jeans do not size you very well all of your bum bum is showing how about you have to your bum bum so it's just your body type it is very very important it shows that you have class you put together you're composed you know what you're doing you love yourself but the minute you're wearing things that are not fitting you that does not look nice on you it begins to come up as you know tacky classless ratchet and it's just giving cheap okay wear things that look nice on you you know that accentuate your shape properly and if you also want to size up maybe you are on the you know slimmer size you want to size up you can size up one or two size you know bigger than you don't go for something that will not be extremely big um my rule of thumb when it comes to um wearing bigger clothes is if you want to wear a bigger bottom then go for a top that is more fitted it actually makes the bottom looks finer and if you want to go for a top that is you know maybe bigger then go for a bottom that fits you that way the clothes you know just seem to enter itself together like it just merges and it's actually much more better on you that way but most importantly always always dress to suit your body type you look finer that way my next point on things that keeping your appearance is extremely long lashes because sis why are you in this house and your lashes is getting to the third house do you want to sweep your of nigeria do you want to sweep us away like sis if you blink one more time i'm gonna take off if you blink one more time oh my i'm gonna take off <laughs> well eh? surely me back you can see me are you even comfortable with the way those lashes are being so long can you see me like this surely me back if you know you want something more elegant more classy more put together go for lashes that are not doing too much see my i would always be a believer of less is more when it is minimal then it makes a lot of sense the minute it is doing too much it comes off as not classy tacky and ratchet so long lashes let it go moving on to my next point on things that cheapens your appearance it is wearing undergarments that shows underneath your outfit since it's giving tacky it's giving not classy it is giving not cool how should you be comfortable with wearing undergarments that is showing beneath your waist? If you're going to wear a clothes that you know is tight, then go for maybe like seamless pants such that all of the lines of your pants is not showing. Imagine going out and I'm telling you that your panty lines is, is showing. It's not nice. If you know you're wearing a clothes whereby maybe the end of your bra should not show, then go for one that does not have, you know, the straps. And you can also go for all these book tapes in case you're wearing clothes that you know that oh bright not just going to do well underneath it. Wear undergarments that suit your clothes comfortably. Moving on to my next point, wearing excessive jewelry. Kilo day, kilo day. Why do you want to shake shake like yourself? Are you shower there? No. So why are you wearing excessive jewelry? It's giving you know cuffed. It's giving bonding. One thing about jewelry that you need to know is the fact that jewelry are meant to you know complement your wears, not you know overpower your wears. Once you're doing it too much, it starts to give jingle bell vibes. Why do you just want to be playing around and then all your jewelry is doing? It doesn't make sense. If you're wearing a clothes that you know is already noisy or loud on its own, then go for a jewelry that you know it's a simple. You can just go for a simple earring, go for maybe a single bracelet, maybe the neck. If your clothes is already doing too much, allow it to speak for itself. Jewelry should complement your dressing, not overpower it and make you look like. <clears throat> Moving on to my next point on things that cheapen your appearance. Wearing rumpled clothes. No, just why do you have to tell the old that we don't have lights for seven months? 
Why? Why? It's not needed. Cold necessary. Okay? See, it's cold necessary. Don't go out wearing rubber clothes. It's given not serious. It's given you don't know what you're doing. You of the clothes is the fact that the clothes look nice on you. It looks tailored. It looks smooth and that rumpleness is a no. Why are you going out and your clothes is rumpled? You just send you away from your house? No. So please, iron that clothes before you go out. Do you want to go to your office? Or your place of work or where you're even looking to you know show that you're put together you're classy you're elegant and then you're wearing rough with food they won't take you seriously okay so in 2023 you don't like to hang on i also wrote that one try try if you cannot do it outsource it let people do it for you take all of your clothes to dry clean and let them hang on it and move it back to your house or take the pain and make sure that you shall try force yourself and hang on that clothes don't go out wearing rough with clothes okay Thank you. Moving on to my last point on things that cheapen in your appearance is wearing excessive makeup and overly dramatic outfits. Why? Because are you going for Met Gala or are you doing some comedy shows such that everything has to be extreme? Why are you wearing makeup and it's giving masquerade vibes? Why are you wearing clothes and I don't even understand why you're wearing this kind of outfit? Less would always be more in my dictionary. Less is beauty, less is fine, less is elegant, less is classy, less is put together, less is organized. So when you're going out, try to ensure that your makeup is not doing too much. Make sure you're wearing makeup that is simple, nice, complement your outfit, and then you're wearing an outfit that actually suits the occasion you're going for. Don't be overly dramatic to a place where you should be dressing simple. Because why are you wearing clothes that looks like, oh, you're going for cultural dance, why you probably want to go for maybe a job interview and all of that. So ensure that your feet when you're going out are not overly dramatic and your makeup are simple, classy, and complementing your feet. Okay? That way you get to look elegant, classy, put together, organized. Like I said earlier, you know, looking expensive and put together would never be about the money. It's just more about knowing how to put yourself together, organize yourself, even when you have very little stuff. See, guys, we have finally come to the end of this video. I really hope that you find one or two things in this video very useful for you. As you go on to appearing, you know, more elegant, more classy, more put together in the year 2023. Going for that will be more you know topics and videos like this even though i know that it can be very very chaotic and you know people have diverse opinions and all that but in 2023 we either have ourselves put together or not in we're not safe in between okay so sis i'll see you in my next video thanks so much for watching please do not forget to like this video like this video okay share with family and friends drop a comment for me and also subscribe if you haven't subscribed and I will see you in my next video. Video, video, video. Bye.